Hello and welcome to Aditya classes where we have been talking about game theory these days. Now up till this point we have seen how to solve a game which is stable, which has a settle point. So we get very pure strategies in that that case. Then we talked about unstable games. Unstable games are games where we the players keep on switching their strategies. Now for unstable games, if the game reduces down to two by two. then we can easily solve it using ottoman method or algebraic method but if the game remains of size greater than 2 by 2 that is 2 by n or m by 2 then you need to move to some other strategy those other strategies are graphical method and method of sub games now graphical method is definitely superior above sub games but then graphical method can land you in situations where you get more than two strategies yes from 7 8 10 strategies graphical might reduce it to two three or four strategies if it leaves you with two strategies fine but if it leaves you with three or four strategies you can then move to method of sub games so what i've done from seven eight strategies i'm down to three or four strategies where now i can apply this method of sub games now if your game does not reduce to 2 by n or m by 2 that is it remains of size m by n it does not reduce any further on neither axis you are having two strategies neither on a a1 a2 nor on b1 b2 you are having multiple strategies a1 a2 a3 a4 b1 b2 b2 3 b3 b4 in such cases if your game does not come down to 2 by n or m by 2 then again we have two strategies a uh, two methods first method is iterative method or approximate solution method now as both of these names are very clear in their explanation this is approximate solution method whatever solution we are getting over here will be an approximately best solution it might not be the best solution but it will definitely be approximately as good as it can get if the game does not reduce to 2 by n or m by 2 if the game is stuck with a larger size you can make use of this approximate solution method and then we also call it it is also known as iterative method why iterative method because there are iterations that go on continuing one after the other one after the other there are iterations now the more iterations you make the better solution you get this is the idea behind iterative method or approximate solution the more number of iterations the better your approximation so either you can get your approximate solution or you can move to simplex you can create a linear model of this game and then solve it using simplex so if we have a game of this size we can solve it using either of iterative or aggregate solution method or simplex simplex we'll see in some other lecture for now we are talking of iterative method or approximate solution method now what happens over here in approximate solution method you can start your game from any of the strategies for any of the players suppose i select i start the game from for a the if i start the game for a the best return that a is getting is in a2 so what a2 will think is that i should start with a2 because i am getting the best return so what you do is you have selected a2 you write down 0 0 4 whatever are the payoffs you bring them out now a has selected a2 and these are the returns now b will select a return which minimizes his losses because it is a loss matrix for b so what will b select b will select the minimum value from these b will definitely not select 4 but b will select either of these two he could go with b1 or he could go with b2 suppose he goes with b2 so he has made a choice and he selects b2 now when b2 ha b has selected b2 will take its payoffs here so we have a 0 0 and 3 so a selected a2 and we brought its payoffs over here from these payoffs b selected the best possible for himself which was in 0 he could have gone with b1 also so he selected b2 0 0 and 3 so we bring these 0 0 and 3 out now it is a turn a's turn b has made a choice b has selected now it is a's turn to select best from these best from these is for a at least it is 3 best from these values for a is 3 because a wants to maximize his returns now when a selects this 3 it means he has selected this strategy a3 because a3 is giving him a return of 3 so when a3 is selected 
we bring these values out and this time we are not just bringing them out we are adding them to previous values for example what were the previous values over here the previous values were these now a3 has been selected will add these values to this so 0 plus 0 would be 0 3 plus 0 would be 3 0 plus 4 would be 4 so first time we bring out the values and from there afterwards there on we just add those values. So, A3 was selected. I have added 0 plus 0. 3 plus 0 is 3. 0 plus 4 is 4. Now, once A has made a choice, B will select the best for combination for himself. Best combination for B would be 4 is a loss of 4. 3 is a loss of 3. This is no gain, no loss. So, B this time has selected B1. So, what we'll do is, we'll add returns of B1 to the previous returns b1 2 plus 0 would be 2 0 plus 0 would be 0 0 plus 3 would be uh, 0 plus 3 would be 3 0 plus 0 would be 0 2 plus 0 would be 2 now a would select best returns from these for a the best return still is 3 he has selected a3 these values will be added to our previous so 0 plus 0 would give me a 0 3 plus 3 is a 6 0 plus 4 is a 4. We will again select and then these values will be added to this. 2 plus 2 giving me 4, 0 plus 0 giving me 0, 0 plus 3 giving me 3. Now, A will switch. Instead of selecting this, A will switch to 4. 4 is this. These values will be added to previous total. 2 plus 0 would be 2 plus 0 would be a 2, 0 plus 6 would be a 6, 0 plus 4 would be a 4. B is still happy with first strategy. This first strategy will be added to previous totals. 2 plus 4 would be a 6, 0, 3. Again, the 6 is best. 6 is in A1. A1 will be added to these, giving me 2 plus 2, making it 4. 0 plus 6, 0 plus 4. From these 4s, you can select either because I am stuck with this. You can select either. You could go with this 4 or you could go with this 4. Choice is yours. Let us say we select this 4. If we select this 4, so these are my returns. These returns will be added to previous total. 0 plus 6 would give me a 6. 4 plus 0 would give me a 4. 0 plus 3 would give me a 3. Again, from these 6 is best. These are the totals. These will be added to previous totals. So, 2 plus 4 would give me a 6, 6 and 4. Definitely this 4 is least. So, these values will be added over here. 0 plus 6 giving me 6, 8, 3. And this time A will switch his strategy to this. These values will be added over here making it 6, 6 and 8. Either of these are okay. Let us get on with the strategy that we have selected in past. So, we will select 6. The returns are 2. 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 and 3. You can pick either of these. Let me select the one that I have persisted with in past. So, this is strategy. These totals will be added over here, giving me 8, 6 and 8. You can again go to that strategy and again add 8, 12 and 3, thereby forcing me to select this one this time. Now, I played how many rounds? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 iterations over here, 3. 3, 6 and 8 iterations over here. So, the idea of this method is definitely our results, our solutions, our suggestions would be different because people are bound to take different calls. Whenever there is a tie, for example, there was a tie in these two zeros. Someone could have gone with this, some could have gone with this. There was a tie between these two 8s. Someone would have gone with this, someone would have gone with this. So, there will be differences in 
everybody's answers because this is only an approximate solution yes this approximation will improve as time progresses because one thing is for sure in these two cases that b2 doesn't like this strategy similarly a1 doesn't like this strategy so as these iterations go on increasing you'll see that a clear picture is emerging and for a student it will be given in your question that find approximate solution using iterative method or up to 7 iterations, 8 iterations, 10 iterations. So we have taken 7 iterations over here. So from the, if I stop at this point, so what is my result from these 7 iterations? Result from these 7 iterations is 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 7 times I am selecting first strategy. 2 out of 7 is this. Okay, these were 8 iterations. Okay, sorry, we have gone for 8 iterations, 4 and 4, 8 iterations, okay. So, 4 out of 8 iterations, 2 out of 8 iterations and 2 out of 8 iterations. For B, what is the scenario? 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 8, 1 out of 8 and 3 out of 8. So, my strategy for A is 4 by 8. 2 by 8, 2 by 8. I have made only 8 iterations. In the question, you might get 10 iterations, 15 iterations. You can continue with this method. For B, we have 4 by 8, 1 by 8 and 3 by 8. Definitely more the iterations, better the solution. And while doing these iterations, you should try to stick with one strategy which is dominating. For example, whenever you are making a choice between 4 and 4, you should make a choice with this strategy because this strategy has already won a lot of games for you. So instead of going here, it would have made sense that I had stick with, stuck with this one. In any case, this you can learn with practice. You should try to stick with strategy. Whenever there is a tie, try to stick with a strategy which is giving, getting you better returns in past. In any case, this is my, these are my strategies. Value of game would be? Let us take this combination 4 by 8 multiplied by 0, 4 by 8 multiplied by 0 plus 2 by 8 multiplied by 4 plus 2 by 8 multiplied by 0. This is 0, this is 0, this will get you 8 by 8 or 1. Value of game is 1. So these are my strategies and this is my value of game using iterative method or approximate solution method. And remember, your solutions can be different depending on what choice you are making. But in question, it might be given, it should be given that I trade for 8 iterations, 10 iterations, 15 iterations and so on. Fine. So this was it for iterative method or approximate solution method. Until we meet next time, do take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.